as you do every single Wednesday, the whole weekly dose of giving you some tips, pale kwa kitchen and uh, you know some whole uh, tips on what to do. Pale, what uh, the kind of simple meals that uh, you have. And uh, this particular morning we are having a very interesting meal. Uh, uh, as they always say, Nyandarwa, Maneno ya Bianzi. And having some mashed potatoes, a pia kanyama pale. But then, to give us all that, uh, is our chef of the day. How are you, sir? I'm good. You too, Nenao Mkono. We'll greet each other like that. So, what are we, your introduction, first of all, and uh, what are we cooking today? All right. Uh, well, thank you so much. My name is uh, Hamon Peshu, uh, current student at Catholic University of Eastern Africa and also a self-taught chef uh, slash content uh, creator. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to be making today is a very simple uh, recipe. I mean, it's actually one of my favorite meals to cook, uh, which is uh, mashed potatoes and uh, meatballs. Actually, it's one of the first few meals that I learned how to cook. And so I like for me to cook it today because it's something that mm -hmm. and I'm sure that I really enjoy the whole uh, process oh and i'm pretty sure you will have your own uh, recipe and how to do everything but back at home you can also tell us uh public comment section over 2047 uh, you know handles at tv 47 ke what do you uh how do you actually make this uh kind of meal mashed potatoes as well as uh, meatballs how do you do it in your own way and your own style from your own uh, traditional and uh, so even as you continue the meza is very very full cool. Yes. What are we looking at? So what we have here are the potatoes mm -hmm. uh, in which we'll be uh, mashing them later on after boiling. Uh, we have some minced meat here. Uh, we have some uh, melted butter. Okay. This will be used uh, together with the mashed potatoes. It adds uh, some more creaminess oh, okay. in, and, and flavors into the mashed potatoes. Uh, we have our onions here. Uh, for the onions, we'll be mixing them together with uh, several spices. We have uh, roiko, we have uh, cumin, we have black pepper, and uh, we have curry powder. So, so back to the onions, how many uh, have you used so that? So, you know, whoever is watching us right now, and yeah, they want to get into this process of cooking, uh, how many uh, onions have you used? So we have uh, one uh, full onion that we have uh, chopped into small uh, cubes. Right. And then we have uh, two eggs. Uh, so the eggs will also be used to uh, probably to basically stick uh, or bring together the, the minced meat. Okay. And then uh, right here, we also have our mm -hmm. blended tomatoes. Uh, we actually this is uh, one blended tomato, okay. and we'll be using this uh, later on once the meatballs are fried to add some curryness and some uh, stew into the okay. into the meatballs. Uh, have, you, have you added anything? In the... uh, so what we've added in the in the blended tomatoes is just a bit of curry powder and a little bit of uh, milk, so as in and and some salt so as to add in the flavors okay. into the, the meatballs. And then we also have uh, some oil uh -huh. and a little bit of milk and uh, garlic. If you don't have a blender, umeka kwa betsita, kama pale somewhere, and you don't really have a blender, and you really want to make this meal, right. can you use, uh, what, what else can you use instead of uh, blending them? All right, so what you can do if you don't have a blender is basically just cook the tomatoes mm -hmm. and add a little bit of uh, water as you're cooking them. And then after that, just mash them with your, with your uh, wiko or, 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 uh, or uh, wooden spoon. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it will do the trick. And then just add a little bit of water and some milk. Fantastic. Yes. So I believe now time to get into... Uh, yes, water. yes. Uh, also now for the real, there's lots of water there. Yes. And uh, because uh, our Kikuyu friends, the brothers and sisters, we don't say they love pupu. How much is, <laughs> let, let, me, let me just hold that there so that they can see. So that's about half of uh, this. How, how many milliliters is this? So this is basically uh, one and a half liters of uh, water. One, wow. Eh, ukoshua hii chakula itakona. Well, uh, I mean, the water is needed to break down the 
potatoes Potato, into yeah. into uh, potatoes that are now cooked mm -hmm. so that it's easier to to mash them right. yeah so after a few minutes that water won't be there <laughs> uh, let, let's be uh, all right so uh first of what do we do so we'll first of all we're gonna uh, light up the the cooker okay yes yeah, so Uh, and then okay, after that, cool. okay. uh, we're going to put in now uh, basically some little, not all of it, but mm -hmm. just a little bit of this oil. Okay. This is for the onions. Yes. What are the uh, black, black? So, yeah, okay. So the yeah. black residue in the, in the oil mm -hmm. is basically uh, rosemary. Oh. So this is rosemary infused uh, oil. I mean, it also enhances the flavors in the whole... Uh, meal oh, yeah okay so after that just add in your finely diced uh onions mm -hmm. and uh you can take the wiko and just uh stir them so the aim of this is to get the onions uh we say sauteed onions so the brown yes the brownish uh color on the onions not so brown just a bit of brownness in it and then once once it's uh once the color has changed we're gonna add our our garlic, our garlic okay. yeah later on so we're just gonna wait mm -hmm. for it I can, to I can yes the garlic on this side so yeah just immediately throw them in so concurrently can we have the potatoes continue? yes 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 as they help you start this There's always a very thin line uh, between the brown onions. Yeah, it's burnt onions. Onion. Yes. <laughs> For you, in your experience, what's the secret of having very nice brown onions? Well, uh, what I would say is just to keep your eyes on the <laughs> on the pan. Uh -huh. I, I, I believe also the oil, the amount of oil you use also helps. Yes. So if you use less... Yes, uh, if you use less, it's easier protein. for it to burn. Yes. Yeah, rather than, uh, you see, once you use, like, enough uh, oil, mm -hmm. then uh, the onions are able to, like, cook properly on in every side. Okay. Yes. Is, is this too much heat or is it No, okay? no, no, that's, 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 that's okay. <laughs> so, I mean, we have the water uh, uh, and the pan in, so what we're going to do is uh, add the potatoes How long will that take? Uh, about uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So five to ten minutes, and we can focus on those ten minutes on this. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So I believe this looks like uh, it has sauteed. Uh, yes. So now we can add in the the garlic. One good thing about garlic is in any meal, mm -hmm. it really uh, comes with a lot of different uh, flavors. So having garlic in, 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 in your recipes is something that is very, very uh, important and key. Okay. Yes. And how long till the garlic Uh, So not so long because we are going to add in uh, our spices. Okay. Because we are going to cook the, the onions and the garlic together with the different uh, spices that we have. <clears throat> All right. So here we have uh, cumin powder. Mm-hmm. The brown mission. Yes. And then we have some uh, Royco cubes. Okay. Is it flavor? Is it beef or just? Uh, uh, these are beef Royco cubes. Beef yes. Okay. And we also have some black paper. Okay. For black paper, we're not going to put in a lot because uh, we don't want our food to be very uh, spicy. All right. What's, why, why, why did you choose those three specific spices? Uh, well, for me, it's because they appeal to me the most. Uh, and uh, the flavors in these spices, is, uh, they're very unique flavors and uh, can turn any meal into something very beautiful and uh, tasty. Because I'm not a fan of having a lot of spices. 
in a meal. Uh, I'm basically, my cooking is very simple and uh, all I want to do is uh, have a beautiful and tasty meal using the least amount of uh, ingredients. Right. Yeah. Would you feel the whole uh, aroma? The aroma, the, the combination of the different spices. Exactly. You're adding another so, one. so this is curry powder. Curry powder. Yes. Why, why have you added it? Uh, so later? for curry powder, it just basically helps with the the color, mm -hmm. and also uh, there is a lot of uh, unique flavors inside uh, curry powder, and it's one of the things that I cannot lack in the kitchen. Whenever I want to cook and I see that there is no curry powder, I'll immediately stop my cooking and rush to the supermarket to have to get some curry powder. Wow. So it doesn't have to cook as much as the other spice. No, 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 no. Okay. So as you can see, uh, in just about a few minutes, mm -hmm. uh, they'll be almost uh, done, and then now we have our minced meat. Okay. So what we're gonna do is add this whole uh, combination into the into the into the minced meat after just uh, a few minutes. Oh, right. Yes. So you'll have to remove this and yes, soak it in there. Then now, have yeah, it back here. Uh, yes. So now, once once we once we put this mixture inside here, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna like we're gonna basically mix up the whole uh, mixture, and then now after that, basically uh, form the the bowls, mm -hmm. and then now that's when we're gonna use our pan to now fry the the meatballs right. in now a different uh, in a different pan. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some so, people some people would use uh, flour to maybe make the whole box uh, and maybe even also put it in the oven and all that. Uh, uh, what's your take on that? Well, uh, what I would say is that for me, as I said, I like my cooking simple and I want something that a lot of people can, uh, can, can do. I mean, not everybody has an oven. Uh, most people will just have uh, the gas cooker or yeah. even the other Jico much Jico. more yes a small jiko uh -huh. so with that you can't have now uh, putting the meatballs into the into the oven for those people that do have uh, oven well uh, it's it's recommended i mean it helps the the meatballs cook better but if you don't you don't have to stress all you need is a is a is a, is a cooking gas uh -huh. and uh, you're sorted. Yeah, you're sorted. Yeah. Well, if you didn't have now the oven, but then you wanted to experiment with uh, wheat flour mm -hmm. and just see how that could be alone, how can you uh, use it? So, okay, what I would say is you can either use uh, wheat flour mm -hmm. or you could use uh, breadcrumbs. Oh. Uh, and if you don't get the breadcrumbs from the supermarket, what you can do is take the normal bread, and just cut them into pieces, and then just uh, ponder them and then now mix them. But also you can use uh, wheat flour because mm -hmm. it helps the meatballs stick together. Mm -hmm. So if you do, you can also use meat flour. So what I see here now mm -hmm. is that this is now uh, ready. Okay. So what we're going to so do is turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's, that should be the color someone who's watching us right now. Yes. It should be expected. Yes. Okay. So I believe oh, yes. we can uh, take Completely this because it is very, uh, the pan is very... <laughs> oh yes, hey, <laughs> just because it's a non-stick uh, pan, yeah. I, would, I would get burnt. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is add this into the, the minced meat. Okay. Yes. I'm curious what the eggs are... Uh, Going to now come into play. Uh, so now, uh, after, that's, yes, yes, yes. So because this mixture is very hot at the moment, uh -huh. we're going to use our cooking uh, a stick to basically just uh, mix this before now uh, we use our hands. Which animals is it? Any animals or any animals? Uh, in here, Ngombe. Okay. Uh, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I don't... Well, you see, with the minced meat, uh, you're not going to uh, boil the meat. 
So you don't need uh, meat that is uh, either like a bit harder because what people say is nyama ya mm. usually mm. needs more uh, boiling. But for minced meat, I mean, it's already been minced. So the cooking process is still going to be the same okay. either if you use... Well, the, the, the huge chunks of... Yes, okay. exactly. So after that, what we're going to do is uh, take the... With yes, our eggs. Mm -hmm. So these are two, uh, two, bo two uh, eggs. We're basically going to mix them. What's the purpose of the eggs? So the eggs again, because egg is a very uh, sticky uh, substance. Mm -hmm. It helps the meatballs stick together once mm -hmm. you're you're making the the bowls so if, if because i think uh, uh, i asked you about the whole wheat flour if you, in case you use yeah it. so if you're going to be using wheat flour do you have to still use eggs yes 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 because uh the eggs i mean i you can use eggs and not use wheat flour at all or use uh breadcrumbs mm -hmm. but the main ingredient that helps the meatball stick together is the eggs so what is if you're allergic to eggs uh, if you're allergic to eggs, uh, then it's going to be a bit uh, hard, but I believe maybe what you can do is uh, take, yeah, which is probably melted uh, butter. Melted, oh, okay. Yeah. And, and we also have the melted butter. Well. Yes, the melted butter, now we're going to use it for the mashed potatoes, oh, okay. which is going to basically add in the creaminess. The creamy uh, flavors into the into the mashed potatoes. Right. Yeah. So right about now is whereby we need to use our our hands. That's why we washed our hands hands earlier. So you go show you before. Yes. Okay. So when you're making meatballs, you need to be ready to get your hands like all uh, sticky and. Uh, and, and everything, the, yeah. The dirty, yeah. The, the dirty kitchen version of it. Yes. Uh -huh. So for this, how many people would be in this? So uh, basically, we, we're using a half a kg of uh, of uh, of minced meat, uh -huh. and uh, I mean this should be able to, depending if if you have people that. Uh, don't eat uh, or ha don't have such an appetite, then you're able to feed around uh, five to six people comfortably. Yeah. If you have, a, if you have about like two Stanleys, that, that's just two Stanleys. <laughs> and uh, so, what about uh, the others? How many should you be targeting? If, you, if you're also, let's say, it's a family of five and they're watching this and they're like, I want to uh, make this for my family, and you're five plus. Well, I'd say about uh, ten uh, sizable uh, potatoes uh, ten would be good. would be good. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, because when let's say for example someone is just you know uh, joining us right now and they uh, they just seeing the potatoes boiling, so they don't really know kamas makato katu and dogo dogo and everything. Tell okay. us why, why why did we chop them into uh, into half? All right, so I'd actually. Uh, Introduce a little bit of chemistry here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, when we when we used to be in class in chemistry, you'd be told uh, for a chemical reaction uh, to be uh, to be faster, mm -hmm. then it's better when the particles are much uh, smaller, oh. so that uh, the surface area uh, available for the chemical reaction is uh, bigger. And yes, it's the <laughs> Uh, is that uh, covalent bonds or something? It's something of the sort. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are so many years ago. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same with the potatoes. Uh, if they're bigger, then uh, it's very hard for the whole potato mm -hmm. to sort of uh, boil and uh, cook. Some, and it will become softer inside. Yes, okay. exactly. So if they're smaller, it's easier for them to cook, uh, to cook faster. Mm -hmm. And, so, so uh, okay. And if you want to check if like uh, your potatoes uh, zine eva, yeah. what you'll do is you'll take a you'll take a fork huh? and uh, just basically poke it into the potato. And if it's still hard uh, and it's not going through completely, yeah. then it's not yet uh, done. So you still need to give it to give it a few more. Uh, 
minutes to to boil but i believe uh once we're done making the the meatballs uh the potatoes will be done plus the whole mashing process is not really uh doesn't really take long it's very quick okay yeah but then because at the end of the day we have to smash so yes 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 so uh as soon as advice me to for easier purposes again to save time you yes. can chew it yeah so but you cut into gondo go you know uh, then you have them boil yes then that will actually be faster yes. it's um, in very tiny bits. yes smaller pieces uh, okay. yeah so what we can do now is now basically uh start making the 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 bowls mm-hmm. i think i'll just put this here uh ile 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 tunataka kupima na macho how many bowls can that make uh so i'd say around 10 yeah, yeah. Okay. plus also it's good it's not so good to uh, have the bowl very big mm-hmm. because uh it won't cook well mm-hmm. yeah so some sizable uh so uh, how how do you pima the sizes of the uh... so basically i'd like uh so be- one full yes a small small handful okay. from your hand so just something like uh just something like uh this, this. yeah i think my hands are a bit yeah it's on the pinyo bed eh so come here yes and then now you uh i'll just show you so something yeah, like then, uh, it, it's still sticky so how do i how do we So once you start rolling it with the palm of your hand it becomes uh, less sticky oh, and then you okay. basically transfer it from hand to hand uh it's like it's like molding clay ah. yeah this is a whole art oh actually yeah yes yeah. exactly wow. all right so we'll just so those uh, are two already yes those are two already so we'll just uh put them here put them on here. the plate for efficiency i think we can uh, run how accessible this part would be and this part of the table the shelf and probably oh, all right yes 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 and then the sedia my spot my water somewhere okay. there yeah uh, so you can have mesa karibisha hiyo hapa okay yeah yeah okay this for simple purposes yeah. and tuna mm. shouldn't be so shouldn't be so big and shouldn't oh. be so small this actually feels like quite don't lose the card dog but yeah it's just the uh, since right about <laughs> okay <laughs> Apo naona tupata more than 10. I mean uh the better cuz oh, at yeah, times yeah. you never know uh you might have an uh an expected guest in the house. Oh eh tu. Lakini ukishapika kitu kama hii alafu na skin knock. Unafunga vitu kwanza na vyote hiyo. I am not cooking. <laughs> But because we have a wonderful production team, I will have them as well test uh, as many of these bowls as possible. Mm-hmm. is for the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and mine is in uh, smaller so I'm try to have a bigger one yes you know back at home how big yours are tengeneza moja kubwa yangu tu okay yeah yeah our potatoes looking uh, as an endeavor so if, if, if we do sorry mm mm-hmm. Oh, so, 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 so if we were to close them well, that would have made them to boil yeah because probably because of the because of the heat uh, oh, i mean okay. uh, the heat is able to be retained uh, inside but then another thing about that <laughs> is if you close then uh, the water will <laughs> rise up okay. and you don't want hot water uh, uh, pouring around the kitchen area because okay. that could be really uh, dangerous and also messy yeah so even i mean even when you cook rice <laughs> uh the pan is usually uh closed unless you're using uh what's it called a pressure cooker okay yeah you're going to need octagon 
So I believe with the with the meat available, you're you still can, able yeah. to make around five to five to six more uh, yes. I, I, bowls. Yes. Will you be using this plate? No, 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 no. So you can have more. Yes, yes, in this one. yes, yes, yes. Have it there. So make so viewers. So this is yours. If you're watching us, and uh, look for offices and uh, say. The ring it and say that our balls are here, our meat balls are here. <laughs> and they will really want to test them. Like in Ishida, you could do part as a measure. I believe, I believe there are quite plenty amount of <laughs> uh, balls on the plate for everybody. I'm going to put it to a phone that pick up your... Yes, I mean, either way. And then speaking of uh, Kufunza, I mean, you, you told us you, you've done this for two years. Did you did you ever want to to be a chef? Or was it was it something you'd probably be be watching some uh, some Netflix things and you're like, oh, I really want to, to do this. Well, what I would say actually is, uh, I mean, uh, this here. Mm -hmm. and then, then because I'm your assistant, let me, oh, let, me right. let me come back to my position. All right, so let's just put this yeah. last one here. Center. Good step. Uh -huh. Yeah. So basically, what happened? I mean, I used to be a fan of uh, cooking shows. Uh, back in the day, mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't really interested in uh, cooking because mm -hmm. I used, I mean, when I was young, I used to see the whole cooking process as so tedious and uh, <laughs> so long. Uh, I know, I mean, you, you like for this, we cook for about uh, 40, 50 minutes, yes, and then we just eat for less than 10 minutes, yeah, yeah. So I, I used to find the whole process very, very long, like even whenever my mom or sister would call me to help out in the kitchen i try and find the best excuse <laughs> either i'm tired or i'm sleeping or i just go outside the house and go for a walk so that i am not uh, available but at the same time i still used to enjoy eating food that yeah. is tasty and also looking at people <laughs> cooking food especially there was this show uh, on dstv called uh, food network i mean i was a big big fan so why and how the whole you turn from not wanting to be in the kitchen but wanting to test the products of the kitchen and then being in the kitchen and actually loving to do this? How did you come to have a whole you turn of that? Well, what happened is I joined campus. I I mean, uh, and you're like maybe stuck in Kuinama. <laughs> no, no, no. And uh -huh. you know, also uh, the money you get from your parents. Yeah you want to save as much as possible to also use it for your own things. So you don't want to be using money every day to go out and uh, buy food from uh, breakfast to lunch to, to supper. I mean, you'll be using quite an amount of, of money. Campus, you were having criminals, okay? <laughs> hey. was in Kenyatta University, you'd have uh, lunch and breakfast and lunch at around, you time it, around 12 p.m. Uh, so that after that, you've, you've, you're done with matters lunch and breakfast, and you'll come to see another meal, maybe the next day or somewhere in the evening. I mean, I guess also it just depends with, uh, I mean, the environment you've come from. So you're used to uh, having uh, three meals a day. Plus, uh, what happened when I joined campus is uh, actually... In the first, I think the first semester, I used to stay in a hostel and we used to have uh, breakfast. Uh, what, used, what we didn't get is basically lunch because during lunchtime, we're not in the hostel. But now you use your pocket money to buy lunch and then supper was uh, provided. But after some time, after the first semester, I moved out of the hostel and started staying with my sister sister was someone that really traveled a lot because of uh, of work and because of all this now you're left in the house and uh, you can't go out and eat every day I mean you need to learn how to cook so even as we continue uh, we were uh, having a story time to even have the meatballs you know rest to go yes and now I think we can also take a look at uh, the potatoes the potatoes yes yes, so yes. That we can use to uh, dry our so I think we could use this to... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll have this, let me, let me help yeah. you. All right. The, 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 the servants? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, good. How about that? And have the other one, so that... Uh, so, now what, what's happened here? 
So now, uh, after the meatballs have rested, what we're going to do is add uh, oil mm -hmm. into this uh, frying pan. Okay. Not a lot of oil, but uh, just to fry the, the meatballs. Uh, and basically, one trick that they say for you to know if your meatballs are ready mm -hmm. is once they turn uh, golden uh, brown. Ooh. Yes. What is it uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm saying golden brown, though. Uh, no, I wouldn't say this is uh, golden. Uh, but which one? Which color? They, is they're red. They're... Men are really colorblind. <laughs> I, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a whole. I'm seeing brown. I don't know back at home what you're seeing. Uh, but then stick around. In a few minutes, you're having this in the fire and uh, into the pan. So we will probably be seeing the whole difference. And yes, the potatoes. Uh, so let's just some... check on the potatoes and see how far they are. So as I, I'm putting my fork into the potatoes, I see that they are uh, breaking apart. So that means that. Yes, they're almost uh, ready. As you can see, the, the fork has pierced uh, straight into the whole uh, potato. So that's a representation of many in there. Yes. So, it's, uh... so in just about a few minutes, uh, in like two? yeah, a minute okay. or two, okay. uh, the potatoes will be ready for mashing. Will we, will we have to drain the water? Uh, yes, we'll just reduce the water slightly, mm -hmm. but we'll still need a little bit of water, like basically oh, just right. at the bottom, <laughs> so as to enable the potatoes to be mashed quite easily. But we're also going to add in some uh, milk and some uh, uh, some melted uh, butter. butter right. Yes. Are we still going to use this? Uh, no, 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 no. We're not. Can, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Water, yes. So now to the bowls now. So we're just going to add in now some uh, of this uh, oil into the pan. Mm -hmm. So just make sure it's evenly spread. Because we also don't want uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of oil. So that's just about enough. In my eyes, this seems like a lot of oil itself, <laughs> considering the economy of oil. Uh, anyway, the price of oil. Uh, well, me vile uta pipa na macho. But then again, you'd really want something uh, quite tasty, so we'll see. We'll see, 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 we'll quite enough uh, oil. So do we, do we uh, have them, all of them, let's say, for example, this, do we have all of them in here? Yes, yes. Or that they're going... Uh, I mean, it? the fact that I look at this pan and I see that it is quite uh, big enough, mm -hmm. then we can have that whole plate uh, okay. here. And then now after we remove it, we can have the... Exactly, yeah. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six. The six of you. The six of you are to pick up a cap media, giving you that plate. Anyway. So to know if the oil is ready, uh, is hot enough, uh -huh. you'll see the small uh, bubbles. Bubbles, uh, yeah. Means it's boiling. Yes. Yeah, so that's when now we uh, it it is basically our time to put in uh, the the meatballs. Mm -hmm. So you'll just do it one by one. I'll go put a shamata. Uh, if you do it carefully, then uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I can see you separating them and making sure there's there's distance. enough space. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a slight distance. Maybe why? Uh, this is so that the meatballs can have enough space to turn. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, after some few uh, minutes, we're going to turn the meatballs onto the other side so that you have enough space to turn. It's very uh, advisable to have them uh, well spaced. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this is around uh, uh, eight uh, meatballs and... Uh, 
we're, this is basically the first round of meatballs in which we're going to have another eight meatballs yeah in the in the next round so is this a pure salad that we need to have yes okay. and then we have that here for you so now to the potatoes yeah so for the potatoes uh we'll just uh take the and just drain a little bit of the water into this other pan Can I switch it off first? I'm, uh... Yes, 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 yes. So you'll do it gently because you also don't want to uh, burn yourself in uh, hot water. How do we, we, we need a wooden uh, so, for this? Or so when we fork? can, yeah, we can use oh, okay. a fork to, yeah. as you can see there, uh, cooking, you can see the color is huh? changing yeah. from the, uh, from, oh, from the, my, from my, uh, my brown, <laughs> brown that you put in red, yes. not to a golden, yeah, uh, oh yes, and I think it's a different. Yeah, so as you can see, this is basically what I oh, mean oh, the golden. By, by golden round. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. And it's the whitish. Yeah. First, the whitish, and then yes, exactly. Oh, yes. So basically, we want the whole meatball to uh to cook well. I put open a corner cooking. Yeah. Uh, that looks amazing. That definitely, definitely looks amazing. Then back at home, how yours is looking like. So yeah, so now once uh, you turn them, mm -hmm. uh, the same thing happens on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to keep on uh, turning them for around uh, five, minutes five minutes so that the whole uh, meatball is uh, well cooked and then... Uh, Put in the others. Right. In case someone would uh, start with us, and we have the whole filling, but I stuck it with my pizza. In Kabidi, I take the logo. Mm. And then they reached the point where they were like, nah, oh, our uh, chef will make uh, this amount, and yake, uh, I So can they still add while this process will continue? When is on the matter? Yes, when is on the matter? So, but what you'll do is you'll first have to uh, remove the meatballs first because the the oil needs to heat up for a bit okay. because if you have oil that has not heated up uh -huh. then you end up having meatballs that are basically soaked with uh yeah. with oil okay. yes and that's not uh what you want to to have right. yes so, so even as this continues for the few minutes so we're just going to gonna, uh, continue draining a bit of the water uh -huh. and uh I don't think we'll be using this, so I can help you that. Yeah. So, you be using the end Yes. Okay. Now this is, we're not going to drain all the water, we're just going to leave a bit of water. Uh -huh. So now after that, is basically now when we'll add the, the melted uh, butter. I'll put it in a look at it. Melted butter. So combine into the zani in my eye. I can in my eye. So other than melted butter, we're gonna have some little bit of uh, milk. In case someone missed the why, uh, why you adding, why you having melted butter, why you having milk? Can you the butter? Yeah. So the purpose for the melted butter and for the uh, for the milk is to add in the creaminess. The creamy, the creamy texture, uh, and also for your mashed potatoes to be to be soft. Okay. You don't want them. You don't want your mashed potatoes being a bit hard. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna basically turn um, our meatballs again. So you have to ensure that each side of the meatball is well uh, cooked. It's, it's good to do that. Okay. 
So you target RA, the white? Yes, yes, it, it, yes, exactly. All round, all yeah. round. Okay. This definitely is a very simple. Yes, and you can find it for the pizza. You know the pizza. Exactly. I mean, it's not a very, uh, a very complicated uh, recipe. All you need is some. Uh, I mean, you could even other than using uh, potatoes and having mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. you could have this with uh, spaghetti mm -hmm. or uh, or pasta. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. I see a nonstick, uh, a nonstick pan. What better than them? Come on, if you don't have this. Uh, can a sofuria, a nonstick sofuria work with? Yes, yes, it can, it can, it can. As long as you moderate the amount mm -hmm. of oil mm -hmm. so that uh, oh, okay. the, the meatballs do not stick to the, to the pan. Right. So, so now for our potatoes, we're basically going to take our spatula here, mm -hmm. our wooden spatula, mm -hmm. And uh, I'll just bring this a bit closer. Mm -hmm. So we're going to basically now just basically press on them. I think they come at the cooling point. So this is almost like cooking ugali, but a bit <laughs> simpler. Alternative. I mean, I believe mashed potatoes is a very good alternative to ugali because at the same time it is still starch. But then, uh, I will have to uh, politely disagree. With you. There's a very huge difference between ugali and this mashed potatoes. There's, there's, there's a very good feeling when you. When you just you know, pinch your garlic and squeeze it in your hand and set your mogans. So this one, they can't really work the same with your stomach. So, nah. I don't know whether you'll agree with me, <laughs> but uh, mashed potatoes is basically ugali with a little bit of aesthetics. Your chef is in position. It's a bit to erect the sun. So I don't know, maybe you can uh, try and also... Uh, oh yes, you need to watch it. Yeah, but let me... Now you can, you can, you can check up on the... Exactly, yeah. On this, if they come into it here. Okay. You need to watch So this is how it comes to get into Gali. And the... Yellow Gali, you know? So as you can see, our our meatballs are very well. Uh, they've turned very well into a nice golden brown color. Oh yes. Now what we'll do is basically transfer them into the plate. Into the plate. My potatoes are going to work in dinner, my little. No, 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 no. We will continue to use the oh, yeah the same oil. Okay. We're going to be stronger, my potatoes now. The usage of Maputa in the kitchen. You know, at the same time, we also want to promote sustainable cooking and uh -huh. uh, reusing of cooking oil uh -huh. is oh, yeah. basically one of the ways in which we can uh, promote sustainable cooking. But yeah. what we'll do is just basically get it off the heat uh -huh. uh, for a bit for it to to cool. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 Mm. Yes, very unlikely to be mashing potatoes. We be really doing this for some brown ugali. Uh, are you fun? Uh, well, uh, of late, of late, I've I've become uh, a fan of uh, of 
brown ugali because mm-hmm. I am told that it is very, very uh, healthy. Whoever told you that didn't lie. Yes, so I mean, the fact that I'm also a bit into fitness oh, is that. also uh, the reason why uh, nowadays I'm trying to uh, embrace uh, eating uh, brown uh, ugali. Yeah. So I'm trying to make ugali more of like a, a constant <laughs> in my meals for the day. Uh, are, are they mashed properly? Uh, so, so that even someone back at home can... Yes, as you can see, uh, the the texture mm-hmm. and the creamy uh, texture is quite uh, quite well. Mm-hmm. So basically, what uh, we just need to continue doing is just stirring a bit, mm-hmm. so that we can uh, get the consistency. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, I believe this is uh, this is very uh, okay right. and actually ready to even uh, plate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, someone was. Pouring milk in here, and I'm wondering how. Uh, do we do it need to boil the the milk? Uh, so if you have and the well, if you have the milk from the from the supermarket or from the uh, or from the shop, it's usually milk that is already uh, pasteurized yeah. and milk that you can already drink. So you do not need to uh, boil it. But if uh, you have milk that you have. Uh, probably gotten it straight from the farmer, yeah. then you will need to uh, boil it. it. Yes. Okay. What's, what, what's that one? What's your favorite uh, item in the kitchen? Uh, well, my favorite item in the kitchen is, I mean, it's not uh, something that a lot of people uh, would uh, find interesting. Uh, but what I'd say, one of my favorite items, actually, my favorite item in the kitchen is the blender. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's very random. Why? Uh, well, uh, personally, I like whenever I'm cooking, especially beef or uh, chicken, mm-hmm. I'd love to have the stew mm-hmm. uh, very uh, thick. Okay. And the reason how I uh, how I achieve this mm-hmm. is through blended tomatoes. Okay. So uh, yes, process. yes, we can turn on the. So blend is your favorite. Yes, because it helps me get the. It helps me to blend tomatoes mm-hmm. that help me achieve the thickness mm-hmm. in uh, in the soup. Okay. Exactly. So that's why I'd say the blender is my favorite. Uh, my favorite appliance in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Exactly. For this first video that was in here uh, for the previous one, we don't have to. Pre-talk. No, 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 no. Okay. Because it's still at the same time. <laughs> oh, uh, it, it, yes, okay. at the same time, the flavors that I have come from uh, the meatballs that we uh, have been still the same. Exactly. Uh, why, why did we have to switch it off and then uh, have it cool off first? So it is because uh, when we removed the meatballs, the oil was very hot oh, okay. and if you put uh, meatballs again mm-hmm. uh, the heat will be too much mm-hmm. and uh, the meatballs will not cook very oh, okay. well you will see that they'll quickly go brown mm-hmm. but uh, inside yeah. the meatball it's still uh, red uh-huh. exactly. no, so how, how can you know uh, inside it's actually cooked well so basically you can just take the the fork mm-hmm. uh, and uh, just basically cut it into cut the middle as you can see mm-hmm. the inside is uh, very uh, well cooked so this is the golden bread you're talking about yes okay yeah i'm even tempted to have a bite but it's a pakua but that okay so is this is this uh, motiko so yeah, so and now what so we, what we can do is now start putting the second uh, round of uh, of of meatballs. Of the meatballs. Yes. Okay. Uh, how about the, the because of time again now? I think now we're in the last minute of having the exactly uh, meal. So for the mashed potatoes, it is uh, ready. But what you can do is just basically add a little bit of some of the melted butter that we still had okay just uh just a little bit uh-huh. and uh stir it uh-huh. for the last time uh-huh. <laughs> 
You have to be careful with the with the oil. Oh, yes. uh, how long can that? How long can this be so that you know I come under some? So just after, what we'll do is just basically reduce the heat, mm-hmm. uh, so so that we have the meatballs cook uh, evenly yeah, yeah, and yeah, not yeah. Uh, just cook uh, not fully. Okay. Yeah. So now what goes in there? So. I mean, for this, for the mashed potatoes, uh-huh. it is ready. Uh-huh. So the only thing that is left to do in the mashed potatoes uh-huh. is to plate it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had also the tomato sauce. Yes. So the blended tomatoes. Uh-huh. Uh, now, once once all our meatballs are done, uh-huh. we'll put them back into a, a pan uh-huh. and now pour this on top so as to have the whole stew and curryness of uh, okay. of the of the meatballs. So the, the tomato is really the flavor that uh, we need. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So uh, is it known as the man that will... Yeah, yeah, you can start turning them. Yes, yeah, so you see the golden yeah, brown yeah. color. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but ooh, you feel like yako, yako ni... Can I use brown or just golden brown? Yes. Can can you brown? Yes. <laughs> because we insisted that this is red and this is golden brown. Uh, a bit cold. In Taiwan, it was very hot. I mean, if you hang around the kitchen long enough, uh, you 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 sort of get used to the to the oil jumping. Oh. All all you just have to do is just basically be a bit uh, careful. Yeah, I can see you really mastered the art of cutting them. I'm beautiful here on this. I'm so happy to get that. Cool. Yes. Yes. So most people would basically find it very hard to to turn the yeah. the meatballs. They even try and basically turn them with their hand. It is not not uh, ideal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, again, there's the whole uh, problem. At this point, it's a bit rough. Yeah, and not as sticky as uh, before. When yes. Before cook, so there's the whole issue of uh, when you when you turn it. Mm. It ends up to sikana ama kusokana sikana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, the meatballs basically, even when you turn them, mm-hmm. they are not uh, breaking apart. Yeah. Sure. That's because of the adding in the eggs that uh, enhances mm-hmm. that. Uh, the yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. I mean that that takes away the whole essence of meatballs uh-huh. because I mean a meatball is it's it's basically yeah it's a bowl so once you start crushing it it it's no longer a meatball unless you want to make a, a burger or something and you want to oh, yeah. yeah. And if you wanted to creatively play, because let's say you didn't want a ball, you wanted to do something else, and mm. creatively play with this, how, what else would you do? Uh, well, uh, what I can say is uh, maybe, because uh, the best way I feel you can play with this is now once you're making the soup. Mm-hmm. So uh, initially I have tried using maziwa mala okay. instead of this uh, milk. Mm-hmm. So I mean the flavors in the maziwa mala mm-hmm. really enhance the the taste in uh-huh. the whole uh, stew and curry. All right. Yeah. So can we try it again? Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. And then have it. No, no, some of that though. Yeah. So just run it on all the. the yeah. And good stuff. So what you can do is also pour this water that you oh, drained yeah. from the potatoes into uh-huh. into this bowl here, uh-huh. so that we could be able to use the bowl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, 
and have, 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 have we arranged them from different uh, parts of uh, where they, they should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that uh, seems okay. Yeah. So next up, as we as we now wrap it up. So now next up, which is basically the final step, uh-huh. is uh, we're going to use this uh, this pan. All right. Uh, so we're just going to light this. Oh, even, even, even as you light it up, speak of amount of heat. So what's the ideal amount of heat to uh, heat up the box? Well, I would say uh, from media, from low to medium, to medium. heat. Yeah, so we can probably not even show. Yes, low. as you can see. Uh, yeah, so whenever the, it's, of, uh, the heat is high, uh-huh. yes. So that went off, unfortunately. It's a bit to record. Okay. Yeah. So that's the ideal. Yes, that's that, the that's that that's the ideal amount of heat that you want. You don't want it to uh, overheat because it will uh, it will burn the Woo. the meatballs. It's a howly catch. All right, we have about uh, less than uh, three minutes to wrap it up. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do is just basically light up this other. Uh-huh. It helps with the towel. All right. Like I hold it. We kidoli is to make it happen. Uh, but I believe whatever is left is, uh, is the the final touches. Yes. Good. We put our sour. So once we've uh, lighted this up, uh-huh. uh, we'll just basically pour in our blended tomatoes. Okay. So other than the blended tomatoes, uh-huh. we'll just add in a little bit of uh, of milk, milk which adds uh, more creaminess into the. So because just already can yeah uh, start with this one uh, to single the hero. And like a bit uh, of a minute to wrap it up. And now this feels like the cooking shows that you. Are uh, if you're watching and uh, you told the minister says uh, you have like two minutes and that's where you now start to wrap it up. Yeah, so as you can see we uh-huh. still had some uh, spices uh, left. Uh-huh. What we'll do is we'll just season some of the spices just a little bit uh-huh. on the on the top. Okay. So this is the Royco uh-huh. and uh, this is the cumin. Okay. You now make a flower? Yes. No so, uh, Are we using this one? Uh, no, no, no. We'll not be using that. So no, we can, uh, we can, we can, we can spice to yes. Uh, this sort of plate. Well, I will just have it that. I believe this is okay. Yes, that goes are uh, perfect. All right. So, 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 so also one thing you should never forget is uh, uh, salt. Maybe, maybe. So I wanted us to have so this one to all right. Yes, yeah, we can we can transfer them there. Uh, we can start uh, even prepping the the plates. Yes. Okay, let's so transfer that there. Then we'll just switch this off. Oh, yes. Uh, right, so you can, uh, let, me, let, me, let me help yeah, you. Yeah, you just add a little bit of salt there. Yeah. Yeah. So you, and can, you can have uh, the plates to, all right. to start prepping. And that should be okay. And uh, even as you wrap it up, your, your final thoughts. Uh, where can people get you on your social media handles? If uh, they probably wanted to. If the order some of the meals, where can, where can they get you? Well, uh, my social media handles, uh, I have my Instagram, uh-huh. which is H underscore Peshu 14. Uh-huh. Uh, my TikTok is uh, Haman Peshu. Uh-huh. Uh, my uh, YouTube is uh, Vibes Kitchen. Uh, I believe uh, whenever I'm in the kitchen, I'm all about uh-huh. vibes. Uh, and yeah, uh, I don't really... Uh, 
cook in terms of selling. Uh-huh. My cooking is just uh, for for me and for uh, my friends. Okay. Yeah. You can you can, you can uh, directly look at the camera again and then uh, say the socials and maybe even a phone number where someone comes. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, so my social media han- handles again. You'll find me on Instagram mm-hmm. uh, as h underscore peshu fourteen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, on TikTok as Haman Peshu. Okay. On YouTube as uh, Vibes Kitchen okay. with the with the Z. Fantastic. Yes. Because of time now, uh, we can now start prepping. Yes. Yes. Uh, we can. We can. Plate. We can plate. Oh yes. You can plate it. Exactly. And, uh, you can now have. Let me. Let me have this ones away. I'll just start clearing our set. Komodina, uh, Stanley, Thank you for sticking around. On behalf of the entire crew that uh, made. This production possible. A set of of watching this has been Tasty Wednesday. This is to quote on a plate up. We've been cooking some uh, 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 mashed, potatoes mashed potatoes and meatballs. As well as meatballs, yes. Mashed potatoes as well as uh, meatballs. And this is how uh, the plate is about to uh, be looking like. We do this every single Monday to Friday. At 6 a.m. all the way to 10 a.m. Kuheri kwa sasa. Sisi tunaondoka tukikuambia kuheri. Tuki set plate yetu. Tuwanane siku ingine. Mili mwza tukuyo. So we'll just stir a bit of the... Mm-hmm. I have it up. Ah, uh, Yes. That uh, looks definitely, definitely fantastic. Oh, yes. That's a cut of Kidogo. And there we have it. Yeah. That's all. 